Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Love It or List It, the series on my channel where I attempt to renovate the default EA lots into something a little bit nicer. Or in this case, let's be honest, a lot nicer because the default EA lots are, I guess for lack of a better word, kind of brutal. We all know that very underwhelming, always very dark, kind of boring. Um, so I'm here to renovate it into something a little bit nicer, a little bit more Dr. Ashley approved. So in today's episode, we are doing something a little bit different. I usually renovate the homes, but today I'm actually renovating a community lot. So I am renovating the Caboose Bar in Port Promise in the Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack. So um, I don't usually do like community lots, I'm not super good at community lots, but I think that's something I'm going to try and improve and work on this for the rest of this year is doing a little bit more community lots like gyms, spas, restaurants, bars, that type of thing. So I thought that this would be a good one to do. Um, the default lot kind of has like train station vibes, I guess is what they were going for. It is very dark gray black, brown, dreary, doesn't really look that nice. I mean, I guess it kind of goes with the industrial vibe of Port Promise, but I wanted to make it a little bit more bougie, a little bit more bright and white and lighter, like a lighter color scheme. You know how I usually do my renovations. I just kind of like brighten the place up a little bit. So the finished results, I did end up renovating this on stream many, many weeks ago and I would say that the finished result looks a little bit kind of like country club, golf course vibes. So that's what a lot of people in chat were saying. It kind of looks very like bougie and like country club-ish. So that's kind of the vibe I gave it, which might be a little bit out of place for Port Promise, especially in its industrial state. But if you do push Port Promise into a little bit more of a greener vibe, perhaps this bar will fit in a little bit nicer because it is a little bit more of that lighter color scheme. So some of the bigger changes I did make is I did give this a patio. So I kind of have like a two-tiered patio, which I think is super nice. And I feel like any bar should have a patio because in the summer we have patios, we have patio season, we have happy hour season. We need a good patio at a bar. I don't think a single bar should exist without a patio, let's be honest here. That's like my favorite thing about summer and even going to a bar in general is getting to sit on the patio and enjoy patio season. So we did give this bar a nice patio and we did actually make this kind of like an all-inclusive bar. It's like a bar, it's a nightclub, it's a VIP lounge, it's a patio place, it's everything. So I'll get into that a little bit later when I go onto the inside, but First and foremost, before we get started, I do want to kind of explain where I've been. I haven't posted for like two weeks almost, so there is a reason for that. I've been a little bit busy lately, so if you guys haven't seen the announcement, if you haven't been able to look at The Sims YouTube channel lately, um, you should go take a look because they did drop a new trailer for what is called Sparked, so The Sims 4 Go check it out on the YouTube channel. I'll link the trailer down below. But basically, Sparked is a new Sims competition reality show that is going to be airing on TBS, which is a TV channel in the US. And it's also going to be airing on BuzzFeed Multiplayer, where Simmers will compete in The Sims. And it's it's like it's a competition reality show, but but it's not just any competition reality show. It's a competition reality show that I'm in. <laughs> so me, Dr. Ashley, the Noodle Club president, is going to be in this reality show, which is crazy. So if you haven't seen the trailer yet, go check out the trailer. Um, I'm in it. And yeah, I guess that's all I really wanted to tell you guys. If you guys haven't seen it yet, please check it out. Um, I'm really excited about it and it's a really incredible like moment for me. I can't believe that this is happening and I do want to say thank you guys so so much for all of your support on this channel throughout the two and a half years that I've been doing this. I don't think that I would be able to have this opportunity to go compete at EA on a sims reality show if it weren't for you guys supporting me every single week over the last two and a half years so thank you guys so much 
from the bottom of my heart it is truly truly crazy and unreal um but yeah i'm super proud of it and i hope you guys like it and i hope you guys cheer me on even though i know a lot of your other favorite simmers are competing as well i do hope that you guys cheer me on as well and if you haven't seen the trailer i'll link it down below so yes that's all i really wanted to say i've been a little bit busy with that and prepping for that coming out um, interviews and stuff like that so that's why i haven't posted for two weeks but i'm back and i have a lot of videos lined up and i am still streaming twice a week on twitch on tuesdays and thursdays at 4 p.m pacific standard time 7 p.m eastern time so if you want to hang out with me more ask me any questions and stuff like that do check out my twitch tuesdays and thursdays i'll link it down below but yeah i think that's all the announcements i have to make yes probably i do have a discord server too um, i know there's a lot of new faces here on my channel lately so i do want to mention that i do have a discord server where we can chat offline and you can also submit photos for curb appeal for me to recreate and also any video ideas and stuff like that and just like general chit chat we have a discord server so i'll link that down below too so that is definitely all I have to say. Now we're going to talk about the build. So as you can see, I've done pretty much most of the exterior cosmetic changes, if not all of them. I kept the general shape and vibe, not vibe, the general shape and like structure of the original build. I have kept that. So that's something that I always keep in mind when I do my renovations is I want kind of like the walls to be more or less the same almost like it's a shell challenge but not really speaking of shell challenge oh my goodness i do have another announcement i am having a shell challenge and all of the details are on my youtube community tab so if you want to participate in my shell challenge the hashtag is a doctor ash shelly one so you can check it out on my gallery page all the rules and stuff are there so that's 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 that and we're going to be touring the shell submissions live on my twitch channel and i'll also post it on youtube as well so if you want to participate in that it's my first shell challenge ever um go do that but here you can see i did keep the general shape of the bar and i've just made it brighter changed the roof swatch changed like the roof trimming and stuff like that changed out the windows but the actual shape of the bar i haven't really changed at all i've added a lot of landscaping and spruced it up in that way but generally when i do my renovations you guys know i like to keep it kind of looking the same but different just better um, because i don't think it's a renovation if you just like bulldoze a lot and kind of redo it it has to somewhat resemble the original lot in order for it to count as a renovation in my opinion so that's generally how i like to do my renos but here you can see i'm doing the patio so i did go for a very like kind of pinteresty vibe with the nice little hanging lights um, i did kind of like communal seating on the outside with those cool picnic benches and then just use um, those nice little lanterns i can't remember what pack those lanterns are from maybe city living probably not i can't really remember maybe parenthood anyways uh no i think it's actually from backyard stuff <laughs> Um, but I did put lanterns onto the table too, just to give it again, that kind of like Pinteresty vibe. And then I used a lot of cool items from Dine Out to, you know, give it that patio vibe, like the, the heaters outside, as well as the little menu cards that I put on every single table, kind of like they would have their happy hour specials on those little menu cards. So I thought that the patio looked really, really nice. And then on the upstairs patio, I just have high top tables from the tiny living stuff pack and then just little bar chairs up there. So communal seating on the bottom level and then high top tables above so i do love the patio and that's kind of it for the outside the outside i am quite happy with how it turned out i just like how we were able to transform it and keep the general shape um really all we did was make it brighter we used a brighter color swatch on the walls and then we changed the windows to the moschino stuff pack windows and that's pretty much all we did so really really easy to make the outside look brighter and happier and nicer just with a couple simple changes like that but here you can see we are working on the inside and this is an all-inclusive bar so on this side we're actually making it kind of like the nightclub portion so you saw that i kind of roped off the entrance to this area with that red rope kind of just 
make it look a little bit more exclusive like you have to get like id to come into this area but this will be the more nightclub-y area for those sims that want to you know hardcore party it up and dance and there's a dj booth there is a second bar um and it's just like i guess a nightclub i don't know it's kind of funny because we are trying to figure out what goes in a nightclub but I don't really go to nightclubs so I don't really know how to make an accurate looking nightclub like I've gone to a lot of bars and restaurants before but nightclubs not really it's not really my vibe but the few that I have been to it's pretty much just a black dirty big room with a dance floor and a DJ booth and a bar like there's nothing really to it and it's not that interesting so I didn't really put very many like decorations in here. Um, I put a couple of neon lights and I put like two bathrooms, very small, very dark. Um, and you know, nightclubs are just dark. So <laughs> there really wasn't much to it. It was quite simple, but I do think that this ended up being a very functional space and it serves the purpose of what we needed it to do, which has like a dance floor and a bar. So that's pretty much all a nightclub is unless I'm missing something but I did want to put kind of like VIP table booths because you know when you go to nightclubs there's that special section where people are sitting at like booths and then they have like the drinks delivered to them um, I wanted to do that but it was kind of hard because we couldn't really fit it in this little space here so we do end up putting like a VIP lounge in the basement so we do make a basement it's like a little addition that we added and we make it kind of like a VIP area. So exactly how I was describing. So it's just a couple tables and booths. So we use the booths from Dine Out and then we just put like another bar downstairs. So it's pretty self-explanatory, I guess. Um, but it's a nice little feature that I thought would be cool to add into The Sims. It's too bad they can't actually like use the booths and get served like they would in a real nightclub like have those girls come with the like firework things and deliver the champagne bottles and stuff i think that'd be funny if they could actually do that in the sims but they can't and i also think i've put so many bars into this um lot and i'm pretty sure only one bartender will actually come so i'm not really sure which bar will be filled with the bartender but you know it's nice to have multiple bars in the place anyways. I feel like that's realistic. Usually when you go to clubs or bars or whatever, um, there's going to be more than one bar. So, you know, that's what I tried to do here. But you can see I'm making that kind of VIP bottle service booth area, like I said. Um, and I really like using those dine out booths. I've never made a restaurant before, so I haven't really got to use them before, but I think that in this kind of VIP area scenario, they work really, really well. And then I use those kind of cube tables, and I'm pretty sure are from the... What is that pack? What is that pack that's not really a pack? It's like a part party stuff? Luxury parties? I don't really know what that pack is, but that's where those little glowy cubes come from. And I can't imagine what other scenario I could possibly use those glowy cube tables in except for this scenario right here when I'm trying to make like a like a table service area. Um, but yeah, I ended up using those for the first time and probably the last time ever, those red cubes. Uh, they're very interesting um, and yeah, I'll probably never use them again. But I did put those kind of little VIP buckets with the champagne in it. I thought those worked really well. And then I did put my favorite olive oil display on the wall. And the inside joke with the olive oil is one time in a build, I thought the olive oil cabinet was a liquor cabinet and it wasn't. It was just olive oil. So from now on, I assume that the olive oil cabinet is a liquor cabinet and I use it accordingly. <laughs> but anyways, you can see we're, we are working on the upstairs. So this is kind of where the public restrooms are for everybody, the general public that doesn't want to go to the restroom in the nightclub. I put the restroom up here. So it's just like little individual bathroom stalls and then like a communal hand washing area. So I thought that the bathroom was quite realistic actually. And quite, I feel like the bar I made here resembles a lot of the bars that I 
went to in my kind of college years. Um, I haven't been to a bar in a long time, obviously because, you know, we're kind of still quarantining and self-isolating, but even before that, after college, we only really went to restaurants and did like happy hour on patios and restaurants. We never really went to bars anymore, but back in the day, <laughs> I say, I, I'm saying this like I'm old. I'm not really old. I just graduated like three years ago, but anyways, back in the college years, <laughs> I um, I used to go to bars and they kind of looked like this. So I feel like I was channeling my my inner experiences here when I was making this, which I which I do love. I do really love. Um, I would love to recreate some of the actual bars I used to go to when I was in university because um, some of them are quite nice. Um, but here you can see we are doing this kind of shady room off to the side. It was a suggestion from my friend M in my Twitch chat. She's one of my subscribers here. Hello, M. Uh, she wanted a kind of side room in the basement because sometimes when you're on a date in The Sims, you don't want to have to like bring your sims back to the house to like seal the deal you just need to have the bed in like on the lot so we thought let's just go all out with this lot and put the the secret shady bedroom downstairs so if you don't feel comfortable with that you can delete it but it's just convenient it's for convenience here we're thinking about you and your sims and going on dates so you're welcome <laughs> but yes in my twitch chat we love we love shady weird bedrooms on bar lots but anyways anyways here you can see i'm working on kind of the main general casual area so this is kind of just the kind of speakeasy area of the bar i guess it's just um, not the nightclub not the vip it's just the general have fun casual bar area no cover that kind of thing so uh it's not actually a restaurant. This lot isn't classified as a restaurant, by the way. It's not classified as a club. It's classified as a bar, I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's much of a difference, but yeah. Uh, I did put just a normal bar, and then I kind of kept the general seating area that came with the lot. So it came with this kind of like couch area with a fireplace, and I thought that was kind of a nice area um, for them to come sit and chill and, and lounge around the fireplace and just order order beverages and stuff like that um so yeah this is a nice open open concept area and yeah i mean there, there's nothing really to it besides you would definitely want to race to the bar to get that couch area because you know how whenever you go to like bars and stuff how many times have i said the word bar in this voiceover oh my goodness but there's always like your favorite area so you try and like race to like hold down the fort when you get there and then all your friends come and you got the best spot in the whole venue. Yeah, that's that couch area. You definitely race after work to go get that couch area and you hold down the fort for the whole night there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I've done there. I just used the furniture that it came with and I also added like a little dart dartboard thing i don't know what pack it came with but someone in my chat did suggest to put the dartboard i personally have never seen a dartboard in a bar before and i live in canada and we don't have that but i think it might be common in the uk but to me it sounds like kind of kind of a bad idea because if people are at a bar and they're throwing sharp objects at a board it just i don't know in my opinion it's just a, a bad time but maybe people are you know good they're better at darts in the uk or something like that in canada no definitely not <laughs> but we don't have that but i thought it'd be a fun little addition and a fun little activity to add to the slot but besides that the renovation is now over and the screenshots should be rolling. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to let me know down below whether or not you would love or list this renovation. And thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And don't forget to check out the Sparked trailer in my description below 
if you guys haven't seen it already and let me know if you guys are excited for it or not and if you guys will be cheering for me also if you want to participate in my very first shell challenge all of the details will be on my youtube community tab and also don't forget to join the discord if you want to chat with me some more but if this is their first time meeting don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you guys want to be friends or if you want to see more sims 4 videos i love you guys so much and again thank you guys so much for everything and i'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye everybody!